The UK Parliament could be about to once more seriously upset government plans over Brexit. An amendment by Conservative MP Sir Oliver Letwin has been proposed, which would, if passed, force the Prime Minister to seek an extension to the UK's membership of the EU. The latest Commons manoeuvres came as both sides of the Brexit debate spent the day trying to persuade wavering MPs to back them tomorrow. Today was meant to be about selling the deal. Good morning, Mr Gove. Can the government get this through the Commons, sir? This, the only question anyone wanted to know. And the answer looked tantalisingly close to a yes. But just as the government tried to keep Brexiteers on board in meeting after meeting... I can't keep the Prime Minister waiting, I'm sorry. Suddenly, from nowhere, a problem. Becoming clear just as Cabinet Ministers arrived for a rare Friday meeting with the Prime Minister. Suddenly gathering momentum was an amendment to Boris Johnson's revised Brexit deal that we voted on tomorrow and could change everything. I'm very nice to skip are, you Sky News. are you worried about the Letwin Amendment? Do you think the Letwin Amendment will force you to... A to any amendment put down by Oliver Letwin is worth considering carefully. It will be very interesting. The man behind the plan explained why. The main point of uh, my amendment is to make sure we have an insurance policy so that uh, those of us who are going to support the deal, as I am, can be sure that as we go through the legislation, if anything goes wrong during that process, we don't just fall out of the EU uh, as a sort of mistake by default, uh, but there's an extension in place which allows us to deal with that situation. Only this morning, Westminster was looking at just how close Boris Johnson was to getting a majority for his Brexit plan in the Commons. But then, not for the first time, Oliver Letwin comes along with an amendment, a plan that could snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. This as Labour MPs were told they wouldn't be expelled if they supported the Brexit plan. Nobody's approached me privately and uh, given me a nod and a wink and said, uh, on you go. But uh, obviously there are some people within the Shadow Cabinet and within the National Executive um, who are less hostile to the deal um, than some others. But despite Labour MPs piling behind a new Brexit deal, we might never know if it could have got a majority in the Commons, as Boris Johnson's opponents united once more over the Letwin plan. It could have been a historic moment after a bumpy patch for Boris Johnson. But once again, the October 31st pledge is in doubt. We still don't know if it will be do or die in two weeks' time.